let's take a look at square roots. To get started, we'll just look at squares first and then we'll look at the square roots. Squares um, come from numbers like 1 times 1, which is 1. That's a square. 2 times 2 makes 4. That's, that's the next square. 3 times 3 makes 9. 9 is a square. Um, 4 times 4 is 16. That's a square. 5 times 5, 25. That's a square. 6 times 6, 36. That's a square. 7 times 7, 64. I'm sorry, <laughs> 49. Thinking ahead. Okay. 8 times 8, 64. 9 times 9, 81. And 10 times 10. 100 is a perfect square. So all of these numbers over here are perfect squares. The 1, the 4, and the 9, the 16, the 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. Well, square roots only work on perfect squares. So let's use some square roots on just the perfect square. In fact, let's take the um, square root of the 1 here and you get 1. It turns the 1, which came from two ones, into one single one. The square root of 4 becomes a 2. So the square roots only work on perfect squares. The square root of 9 is a 3. The square root of um, 16 will give you 4. The square root of 25 is equal to 5. The square root of 36 is equal to 6. The square root of 49 is equal to um, 7. The square root of 64 is equal to 8. The square root of 81 is equal to 9. And the square root of 100 is equal to 10. Okay, now those are your perfect roots. Now, the numbers in between, like, um, I, remember we didn't do the square root of 2, the square root of 3. If you try to take the square root of 2 and the square root of 3, what happens is that you get decimals. Um, this one, I think, is I think 1 point, um, 1 1.41, I think. And this one is 1.72, I believe, folks, like that. And this one's 2 point. So when it comes to numbers that are not um, perfect squares, we don't we don't change those because they'll give us decimals. So we'll keep it square root of 2 and square root of 3. All right. So we don't change these because, again, they turn into decimals. So numbers like square root of 5, we don't change. And numbers like square root of 6, we don't change. So the question is, we have to find the numbers that are perfect squares that will change and take those out and then uh, find the ones that won't change and keep them in. So let's look for that. So if we have the number, let's see, oh, let's keep the perfect, perfect squares around so you can kind of see them. We're going to need this perfect square. So we hit the square root of 8. 8 is not on the perfect square list, but you can divide an 8 into a perfect square of 4. So we're going to do that. So we're going to turn the 8 into a 4 times 2. So we just divided it by the perfect square 4. And now we can actually break this up into two pieces. The square root of 4 by itself and the square root of 2. Now the square root of 2, again, we don't change that. But the square root of 4 we can change that to the number 2. So this square root of 4 becomes the number 2 times the square root of 2. And we can kind of get rid of the times and just say 2 times the square root of 2. And that's how we handle the square roots. If we had a square root of, let's say, um, 16, it's in, that would be a lot easier. Because 16 is a perfect square. And so when we take the square root of 16, we're going to get a 4. So here, square root of 16 turns into a 4. It's very easy. All right, I mean, just now, let's
let's take 18 instead. Square of 18. Square of 18, 18 is not a perfect square, okay, so it's not on this list. But I can divide it by a perfect square of 9. So let's divide it by 9. So 18 divided by 9 gives us 9 times 2. So the 18 is a 9 times 2. Now with 9, again, we can take the square root of 9, but we can't take the square root of 2. So we're going to just take the square root of 9, that's going to give us our 3, times the square root of 2, and our answer is 3 square root of 2. So we're looking for perfect squares. Next, um, let's say we have the... Um, Let's, let's, let's look at another perfect square. No, sorry, let's look at another example. Let's say we have the square root of um, 25 and the square root of, let's see, 32. 32 might be a good one. All right, so the square root of 25, well, 25, since 25 is a perfect square, we'll just say the answer to that is 5, and we're done. 32, on the other hand, is not a perfect square, but it does have a perfect square in it. I can divide 32 by 16. 16 is a perfect square. So 32 divided by 16 gives us 2. So 32 turns into 16 times 2. Now I can take the square root of 16 and leave the 2 in its own square root. The square root of 16 is 4 times the square root of 2, which is just 4 square root of 2.